Well, hello there, pinball nerds. Uh, it's time again for another episode of the Project 2, the EM Pinball Machine. And um, since uh, the last time, I have uh, tried the different cleaning solutions um, around the thumper bumpers here because there, there was a lot of wear, a lot of dirt built up around these guys. And... Um, yeah, I can still feel some right here. So I tried uh, several things. Uh, again, my, my board is sort of suffering from um, uh, split wood. The wood has uh, become a little bit exposed from um, the, the crackling varnish. And there's some crackling in the, uh, in the paint. And so when I use the Simple Green, uh, it, it's too wet of a solution it gets into the wood and and makes it expand even more causing more trouble so uh, and it didn't do that great of a job cleaning up same with the uh the windex it wasn't windex it's uh, just non-ammonia um window cleaner i also had this some um, uh, interior cleaner for cars but that had a lot of um oil uh or synthetic um, moisturizer of some kind. So, you know, I think it's for like protecting dashboards or that sort of thing. So that didn't work. The only thing that really worked for me was this Pro Cleanup, right? The NAFTA replacement. And um, so I did it with a, I did it with a, a towel and I, I uh, rubbed it in. Oh, it's very important you put on uh, nitro gloves. Uh, I found every single, every single uh, scratch and nick and uh, hangnail in my hand uh, in an instant. <laughs> it really, it really hurt. So um, I did a I did a basic cleanup of those spots um, that were really gritty around the thumper bumpers and around the kickouts and a couple other spots where I saw, um, and uh, it worked great. It did bring up some of the paint, but that was the paint that was worn off by the ball, um, you know, that was just uh, uh, just barely hanging on. So that's okay. Uh, it just points out which spots I need to focus on. Now, I haven't bothered sanding down uh, the spots where the peg holes are. Um, so I can't just go like this without getting the getting the rag snagged on things. So I'm not sure if I want to sand those things down or not, or wait till I get a couple of coats of the clear coat on it. Um, I got the got the last little buttons out, so I think we're we're pretty set to go. I I'm going to do a little uh, finer cleanup here, sort of a last cleanup step with the magic eraser and this pro cleanup, and then I'll be ready to go to Michael's to pick up some paints. Um, I'm going to bring my son along. He's going to take the pictures. Uh, you know, out of the, the, the two or three things that I'm not good at, four things, five, six. So, uh, well, the important thing is color is not my thing. Um, I'm colorblind. Uh, uh, it's a genetic thing, so you know it's been that way all my life. Uh, I remember, uh, I remember in kindergarten getting an F in art because I painted a tree orange, and uh, you know back then they didn't promote creativity, so uh, they pulled me aside and tested me, and they came to me and said, "Oh, you're colorblind," and I just went, "Oh, okay." Didn't really think much of it. Um, but when it comes to things like this, where I got to match uh, colors, uh, uh, I really need help. Um, so what is what is color blindness like? Well, it's different for many people, but for me, um, here's a clear example: a a basketball, a nice bright basketball, sitting in fresh green grass. Uh, looks like exactly the same color. 
Uh, it's got the same saturation, it's got the same luminance, but uh, the hue is different. But to me, it looks the same. So, uh, you know, if I, if I paint the grass orange, it just matches a basketball to me, right? Okay, so I'm going to uh, do some more detailed cleanup, and then uh, we'll take some pictures of this, and we'll go to Michael's and um, try to match some of these colors. All right. See you later. Michael's, the arts and crafts store. This would be the place to have it, right? Gift bags. Is it fine enough for detailed work? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And I think this is a, a good assortment of of colors for mixing and getting closer to what we're looking for. Okay. So which one's that? That's the that's the island, right? That's peach. Yeah. Yeah. Put that in. Now what else we need? We need the blue, right? Like robin's egg. Ooh yeah, robin's egg. This is a closer match. Okay. Then we need the uh, red and yellow. Is that the red? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Paint pot strips. Yeah, okay. That'd be good. All right. All right, what color's left? Just the yellow. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, I'm back from uh, Michael's, and I got some. Uh, I got I got a kit of um, uh, a lot of primary colors and a whole bunch of other uh, colors, and then I got spot colors. Hopefully, they're, they're close to um, what I need for the major areas of the board. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to. Uh, put some of this paint on some cards here and see how off they are and then um, decide what I need to mix it with to uh, get closer and closer to it. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, paint some colors here. Get out one of these brushes. paint just like Martha Stewart with Martha Stewart brushes. She does everything. All right. I find that you gotta um, make a big enough patch here so you get the full color. Otherwise, you know, the, the outside colors will influence too much. Okay, so let's see how close that is to that. Now let's try the blue. Yes. Azul Pacinda Pool Blue. All right. Now 
Now it doesn't look like my pool. My pool's more of a green, algae green. Oh yeah, that's, that's, that looks pretty good. These are colors that my son picked out because, like I said, colors is not my thing. All right, so we'll see how that turns out. Wow, I think Austin's done a great job of picking out these colors. Fantastic. Of course, we've got to see how that looks when it dries. A lot of these things will get darker when they dry. All right, and finally, that nice red, holiday red. Do holidays make you see red? I bet they do. Very red. All right, let's see. Yeah, that looks a little, a little dark. So we're gonna let these dry, then we'll compare them. We'll try. Uh, mixing up a batch of uh, uh, whatever adjustments we need and see how they look okay catch you in a few minutes okay a little progress here on the colors so um took some of the colors and laid them out on cards to see how Good, they're looking. So here's the yellow compared to the yellow uh, in the game, and that looks really good. I uh, did a couple of experiments with the blue, and uh, finally got this blue right here, and that looks really good. So I got a little mixed up batch of color there. Um, got some of the red here. Can you see this? All right, and that was uh, um, a mixture of this and some orange, and uh, that turned out all right. But I'm having trouble with this one. Um, originally it was this. I added some orange, but it, it kind of came out darker. So starting over from scratch. Sometimes when you add um, when you add uh, a pigment, uh, you know, you can't unadd it. Um, so uh, sometimes you just got to start over. So I'm going to, I'm going to start with this uh, uh, color and add some yellow to try and lighten it up a bit. And we'll see how that goes. Okay. Yellow. Nice thing about the acrylics paint is just how well you can mix them together. And you just put them in a little a lidded plastic tub like this one, and uh, it stays nice and nice and wet for you. You can just keep making adjustments. All right, so let's try this swatch right here. Okay, and we're going to let that dry. 
You always got to let it dry because it, it changes the color slightly um, after it dries. So uh, let's take a quick look at the board. And so um, the yellow and the blue are good. So I, I'm going to start at the top here and just start um, working down, touching up any of the places where, where it needs touch up. Um, so I'll do the yellow and blue first, and then I'll just go through the the whole play field doing the yellow and blue. And then um, um, once I get this color set up, then I'll do red in this color and go through that. And finally, uh, touching up the black, any lettering that got messed up, um, I'll take care of that. Maybe I'll get a paint pen for that. So, move it along, move it along. Okay, well, it's finally done. Um, I was able to match this color pretty well. It turned out to be a coral instead of a instead of a pink. Um, it's still uh, it's still a little off, but it's okay. Um, I went through and uh, um, closed up any of the colors that were sort of rubbed off, and. Um, uh, uh, got this nice little um, acrylic pen, and a nice fine tip acrylic pen, and uh, went through and closed up all the circles. Oh, I still see a circle right here. That needs some attention. These acrylic pens are really nice, and uh, they do put out acrylic paint. Looks like they... On the website, it looks like they're all designed for painting on rocks and stuff like that. So, um, And if you make a mistake, you can just rub it off. Okay, and there's still a little white there. So what happens is these lights, they, they heat up, they sink. And the ball, when the ball travels over it, uh, it, it sort of makes a thump and hits the edge and uh, causes little bits of paint to fly off. And then after the paint's gone, little bits of wood to fly off. So we get all this paint on here and uh, make it look nice. We're going to have to protect it. We're going to have to clear coat it. Um, and I noticed that there was a, a coating of something, like a lacquer or something, to protect the artwork that has worn off. And I can see where where uh, you can see the sheen where underneath some of the plastics it's still there. But um, um, out in the play field it's all, it's all been rubbed off. So I'm going to have to do... Uh, a lot of clear coat on this to protect it um, uh, because you know the acrylic is uh, it's just on the top and it can get knocked off and you know it makes the, the play field a little irregular so you got to do lots of clear coat make it uh, smooth and so the ball can just roll right over it all right so um, let me pull the camera I'll show you some of the close-up details and then, uh, okay, so uh, here's the close-up. There were some rings around here that um, where the where the wood got exposed. Uh, we sort of covered that up. Um, all along here, all the bonuses had uh, had the red knocked off, and the circles um, they were half gone. Especially this uh, ten thousand. Uh, it was wood all the way up to the the zeros there and so now that's all been cleaned up not my best work but hey uh, it's good enough for gameplay so I, I redid all the circles there so they're all nice and dark but don't look at that one that one's a little off, off kilter uh, this this one 
had uh, all wood exposed all the way up to the thousand. And so that's all been cleaned up and uh, touched up. This 5,000 had some wear. And um, or get that 500 did too. So I'm pretty happy with the results. Um, I'm going to let this stuff dry and then give it a quick... Uh, quick clean just to get any of the, the dust off of it and then we're ready to clear coat and that's going to be the next episode okay so thanks for joining me if you like this please subscribe and uh, we'll keep you up to date with uh, any of the new episodes coming up and uh, we'll see you later all right bye